Hi y'all. Welcome to today's video. Today is a Makeup Talk Monday. Yes. We have a lot to get through. So, grab your drinks and grab your snacks. Girl, grab a pen and paper. You might need it. Let's get into this. Okay, y'all. Have you seen these color fix shades by Danessa Myricks? Y'all, I want one of every color. You have Bunny, which is pink, Sundays, which is lavender, Oasis, which is sky blue, and Dreamsicle, which is peach. But y'all, she does have Lemonade, which is yellow, Matcha, which is green, Vamp, which is burgundy. Y'all, I am super excited about these. I plan on picking every single shade up, but they retail for 20 bucks a piece. So I don't know, like, is that norm? Is that like normal? I mean, I know P. Louise d does theirs. Like, I don't know how much theirs is, but dang. So anyway, it's available April 9th at Sephora. Do I have an alarm set? Why? Thank you for asking. Yes. I do. Is my cart already full? Yes, it is. Is the credit card going to feel the heat? Yes, it is. Sigma. Yep, Sigma. is dropping a cool tone neutral palette. Y'all, by looking at this, I am super impressed because cool tones aren't always just gray and blacks and you know, different colors of gray. They're yellows, they're golds, they're pinks, they're, you know, nudes. There are cool tone sides of those colors. And I, I think this palette has it. Every single bit of it. Like, by the looks of it, it has, has the gray, it has the black, but it has browns and it has golds and it has like a peachy or a pink, but it's cool toned. I'm super stoked. I'm not sure when it drops. I think it's, I think it's today. Like the day that you're seeing this, I think it's today, but I'm not sure. But y'all need to go on Sigma's website and see, because I think you guys are going to enjoy this, especially my, my subscribers, y'all that are like, don't like to venture into color much. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. I do. And it's not break the bank pricey. But Sigma has a great formula, fantastic. And I think you guys need to be looking at, at, at this palette when this drops. Okay, y'all, just so you know that NARS dropped like 16, I think they said 16 new or 16 best selling of their blushes. So if you need any, I think you should keep an eye on uh, the Sephora website or coming soon to their website. But they retail for $34 a piece, y'all. So. I would, I would, uh, I'm passing, I'm passing on the NARS. I have found that I have blushes by indie brands, even by drugstores stepped up their game, including their prices. And I think some of it's worth it. Just throwing that out there in my opinion. So available now, just so you know, Sephora is dropping a ton of new bronzers in the Sephora brand. So if you guys are shopping you know, Sephora still, you know, keep that in the back of your head. I'm not going to pick it up, but they look pretty. Elf, y'all, Elf Cosmetics, they just released the Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. I think this is a dupe for Milk Power Grip. For the green one, I think that's what it's called. So this is Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. I, I think it's a dupe for that. You bet your bottom dollar I'm going to pick it up because it's for $10, y'all. And worth it. Charlotte Tilbury, you know, she's dropping a ton of new lippies. She's got highlighters in here. All Pillow Talk family, just so you know. A little bit more than what I want to spend, so I'm not going to pick it up. The NYX. Now, NYX lippies, yep, I'm picking these up. Praise the Lord. We are going to go back to the late 90s, early 2000s, y'all. Styles always come back every, as the world turns, y'all, as 
as fashion and beauty turns like sands through the hourglass, it's all going to come back around. Well, guess what? It's here. And I'm excited about this. You know, because these Butter Gloss Bling non-sticky lips, I want one in every color. I am super excited about this. Six dollars each. Dang, right you're in my price range. So yes, they are available now. Run, don't walk. I will try to get there before y'all see this video so it's not all sold out. Unearthly Cosmetics, they just dropped their Spring Magic Collection. Y'all, just that palette alone, $78. 78 doll hairs. I don't know. I just got Charmer in the mail. You'll see that video tomorrow. Y'all, I'm still salty about it, but that was a damn good palette. Just saying. I know, but I'm being honest. It was a good palette. The lippies were good too. Okay, so this was interesting. Steve Madden dropped a new perfume named after Madden's tween daughter, which I thought was super, super sweet. It retails for $78, y'all. Goldie, I think is the name. And the fragrances are a woody base feature notes of amberwood, soft musk, sandalwood, and also baramel, baramo pear and jasmine. I am kind of interested. And I am a Steve Madden girl, so I will probably eventually pick this up. But it's in the shape of a heart. After his daughter. I thought it was super cute. Now, y'all, this, this, I will not be picking up. I will tell you straight up. No. This, the cafe, is coffee, which is a hint of espresso. Biscuit is cookie. Chantilly is whipped cream. Fruit confits. It's candied fruit. This is a candle collection. Each jar is $78 a piece. Right now, I'm trying to picture 78 $1 bills on fire and how they smell. Because I ain't going there with that. I'm passing. Lancome is dropping a new mascara, y'all. I kind of dig this packaging. I mean, packaging is packaging. But again, out of my price range, I'm not picking it up. But y'all, the packaging. I mean, I kind of dig it. I mean, I'm just saying. I think it's kind of cute. If you go over to IG, Wednesday Cosmetics and Beauty Bakery... Both companies, woman-owned brands, they both announced this last week that they are closing. That they are done. Just their, their explanations are underneath the pictures or in the pictures. I will pop up Wednesdays next to me. I am so glad that I got to purchase her palette. Y'all, the palette is good if you want to purchase it. If it's still on sale, um, go over there at Wednesday Cosmetics, y'all. Go pur purchase her palette. It's, I bought two of them, if that tells you anything. And Makeup and Murder, y'all, I found them on IG. I will pop up pictures next to me, but y'all, they have the cutest eyeliner palettes. And I really want to pick up each one of them. I have not looked on the site, but they are waterproof. They don't budge at all. So... I'm super excited to see, I'm going to go on the website. I'm going to check these out. I will, I will let you know, bo show, what I ordered. If I ordered every single one, because you know me. It's my credit card's fault. Okay, y'all, for the ice cream spoilers. Girl, you know, if you get a box... Ofra on the Go palette is in there. Uh, spoiler number two. It looks like a duochrome Chantico palette. So there's that. Liquid Multichrome Shadows by Charmacy Global. And I think in the bag, there is a Trend Beauty Like a Boss palette. Y'all, Ice Cream Beauty. Ice Cream Beauty. If you are looking to grow your collection, venture out of your wheelhouse, out of your comfort zone, tip your tippy toes into color, anything like that, ice cream beauty subscription. 
the box is $25 a month, y'all. That's it. Most of the time, you are getting well over $100 plus, plus with products. Each box, you will get a palette. You get five to seven full-size products, y'all, for $25. In the bag, you get three to five full-size products and a palette for, I think it's like $14.99 plus tax and shipping. Y'all, it is worth it. Worth it. Everything is color coordinating or like it all has a theme like it's all it's not all willy-nilly done like oh this is just what we're gonna do today it's not like that at all at all look into ice cream beauty box my favorite subscription slay glam for all you slayers out there she is taking the month of april off she said that she is not charging for April. She is taking the month of April off because she is running like a week behind. She is still trying to get March's boxes out. So she has decided that she is going to not charge or pause for the month of April and then start back up in May. So just so you all know that, she did announce that on IG and I super appreciate that. I did pause my subscription for March. I hadn't done anything for April because I didn't know, you know, what she had decided or what I had decided, but she has decided that she is going to pause. So good for her. She wants a minute to catch up and y'all, the least we could do is support her because at least she's coming out and saying, hey, look, I'm not pulling my load. So can y'all just give me a minute? So I at least give her respect for that. Y'all, the queen is back. Lawless is dropping FTF lip plumping glosses, y'all. The two new glosses are... I like them. I really like them. I'm not going to say the words out loud, but the picture is next to me. Just because I, you know, you two, even though my channel specifically states not for children... YouTube still doesn't like us saying certain words. So those are up next to me. All it says is available exclusively on lawlessbeauty.com. So I am super stoked about that. You bet your bottom dollar I'm going to go over there and check that out. The palettes that I have been using that I have not put down for the last week. Blessed. This is a collab between Sydney Grace, Glitzy Fritzy, Y'all, that's this is what I have on my eyes today. I have this, this color in the outer corner. I have this like in the crease. And then I went in with like the faux crease and with this color. And then um, this color I have over the center of the lid. And then this one I have on the inner corner. I know Sydney Grace, I know her palettes are kind of expensive. But if there is anybody in this industry that has been here for a long time, as long as I can remember anyway, it's Sydney. Her formulas don't change. They're worth it. They are like butter. And this has been what I have been playing with all week long. So, that palette, not the only one, but that palette. I also have been playing with this gem, and I also have been playing with this gem, y'all. Bella Beauté Bar, when they dropped this palette, I am pretty sure that, yes, pastels, but y'all, look, my lights are so bright right now just because I'm filming and I'm not filming my look, but y'all, those yellows and oranges are true yellows and oranges. I am not influencing you, but maybe a little. So those of you that are scared of color and don't want to go full-blown color or anything like that like I do, y'all, dip into the pastels. Dip into Blend Bunny. Oh, you've got Cosmic Brushes, Delicious Delight. Y'all, dip in to those three, four. Those four are my favorite pastel palettes. Y'all, Natasha Denona's even got a pastel. Although I have not pulled that out and used it this week, but I may for next. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But y'all, 
that's all I got for this week. There really wasn't anything that explosive other than Beauty Bakery and Wednesday Cosmetics giving in the towel. You know, dropping the brushes. That's all the tea I got. Any hoosies, y'all. Thank you for taking time to watch my video. Like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell down there. It will let you know next time I upload. I hope you guys are having an awesome, amazing day. I hope that this video was informative. Does it help you? Do you guys plan on picking these up? Go out and do something kind for somebody, and I'll see you in my next video. Toodles!